Happy to have you here. Welcome to the Magstam area. We're happy to host you as well as host uh, leaders in transcranial magnetic simulation from throughout the world here. We're honored to be part of this. Magstam has been around for 36 years and we're honored to be the first company to make the first commercial uh, research system in the world. And our foundations are back to Tony Barker and the whole team out of Sheffield. Um, we are continuing our legacy of building off of handmade technology. We manufacture our own technology. And as you can see, we continue to evolve our technology to uh, capture the best in new opportunities to treat your patients and give them the best uh, treatment for adolescent depression, for uh, OCD, anxious depression, and now uh, the adolescent indication, which we just got a little bit ago. Rob here uh, can guide us through the process of what it looks like to sure. do a treatment with our system. And uh, we think you're gonna have a great experience, Kyle. I'm excited. We hope. So You're gonna love this. <laughs> uh, instead of putting a cap on and doing all your measurements, uh, you know, Daisy and Andy and Tragus to Tragus, finding midline. We're gonna put this uh, head sensor on so the camera knows where you are relative to the spot that we're gonna save. So we don't, no cap needed. Uh, we also put some uh, EMG electrodes on there so there's no guesswork. A lot of times just stem, you know, oh, did I see index finger? Did I see middle finger? Uh, we know we're getting the strongest thumb twitch because we'll get a waveform on the screen. Awesome. Okay, so instead of having I like a, that. To place a cap, do your measurements. All we're going to do is just uh, register four landmarks here. And you can see that on the TV screen there as well. It might be a bigger picture, make it more easier. So I'm just going to touch this in. Left tragus. Right tragus. And top of his head. And I'm ready to start mapping. Right there. Now we can start hunting on it. Go ahead and make a fist. And relax. So we can see we got, hey, yeah, we got it. a twitch there, we got EMP <laughs> here that verifies. And now I can start that hunting awesome, around. Actually. Thank you. You take all the all the human error out of that process. Yeah, and it, and we have science with EMG right. that has a second set of eyes, so we know we're getting good thumb, even though we saw multiple finger twitch. Um, so you know we can hunt around now for your strongest thumb twitch based on science and EMG. Huh. Makes makes like mappings it. very fast, simple, uh, and very accurate. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna go a couple more. So I've been doing this for nine years, and so now it's very easy. I can do it with one hand, even just go right back to that same exact spot I was, and I'll start going down to get my motor threshold. So I can control that on my handheld uh, foil right here. So I'm gonna line that right up there. Go ahead and make a fist. So I'm gonna call this his motor threshold right at 64. So all I have to do is register that so it knows the power to save that. And I'll hit next, and now it's going to guide me to the treatment location, which is uh, defined as five and a half centimeters forward on the sagittal plane. And so that's going to be this yellow cylinder right there. So all I have to do is just take this, turn it up to that yellow cylinder, and it's going to turn green. That's how I know I'm right on there. I'll stim one time, and now mapped. We're done with the map. I was, that's simple. Yes. Quick and easy. I like, I like that you're saying that. Yes. No, I, I, I love it. I mean, this is, I've done this so many times, but that was, I'm, that was the fastest that's ever happened. So the nice thing about this system, when, um, besides fast mappings helps the doctors, you know, accurate, got some scientific data. Accurate, yeah. The difference between this and having a cap is when you have a cap on, anyone can can uh, put the coil right there where you're supposed to treat. Uh, but one tech will put it this way, one person will mm -hmm. rotate it this way, one will tilt it this way, mm -hmm. and the patient feels the difference of the pulse. And then they start to question, am I getting the same treatment as I got yesterday? This doesn't feel right. Am I going to get better? And they start freaking out. Yes, or, they do. Uh, you hurt me as a tech, so I want you, because he put it on and it, was, it felt better. Mm -hmm. uh, and it messes up your workflow. Where with this system, uh, when I place the coil on, I have to, every tech, whether they're new or experienced, has to put the, the coil right there in the same uh, rotation that I'm prescribed and the same tilt I prescribe. So you get very consistent treatment. And so I'll, I'll put the coil on now and then we'll go over a, a couple other things from there. If you were my patient, how would you feel right now so far? I would feel safe. Yeah. I would feel that we're going to take care of that I would be taken care of. Right. Um, Obviously, hitting my thumb on the very first try, right. 
is huge. Absolutely. Right? Obviously, I know what this is, and I know that well, that's exactly what we're looking for. So for my thumb to jump right. on that first click, that's huge. One of the things that we try to do is to instill a degree of confidence for mm -hmm. patients and give them the best in the technology to uh, know that they're in good care. Now, as as a technology company, we, we make the, the technology to help the physicians and the MPs to treat their patients, but you want to have the patient themselves feel like they're getting the, the newest thing to to treat whatever they're going to do. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, and you don't want a question of like, well, uh, or, you know, is this going to be a variance of what it's going to be? I think one of the other things is, um, you know, patients who agree have a degree of nervousness, like, oh, what's going to happen? Is this electric shock therapy? It's not electric shock therapy. It's but you guys have been, you said earlier that this, you were the first ones to bring this to market. Maxim was the very first. How long ago was that? 36 years ago at this point. Right. Out of you, out of the University of Sheffield, our original, we were Nova Metrics. They went from Nova Metrics to Maxim, and we're now, uh, we're the only uh, integrated TMS system. So that means we can treat. Uh, all these different indications uh, with one treatment coil in one system. MRI is great. MRI is expensive. As Rob was talking about, we can actually get the data you need to map the brain to get to the right location. Fast and accurate. And fast and accurate. And getting your treatment in the chair, getting it out the chair, making sure you're getting... The other thing to think about is coil uh, consistency. You want that first dose, and that first pulse, and that last pulse to be the same. So this has what's called energy recovery, ERS. We can recover that treatment at the same rate, right? Every pulse is delivered with the same power or it won't fire at all. Your other systems can't say that. Huh. Okay. So it's like prescribing a, a medication at, at, a, at a certain milligram. We ensure that you're getting that same dose of milligram every single pulse. All the way through. Right. So there's no pulse decay at all, uh, like some other systems uh, have with their data version. And I also want to know that, say that I know you like comfort, uh, Kyle, so we just want to let you know this is a chair that's also in spas. Okay. So, so you, you feel comfortable? Are you I ready? Feel Are you ready? Comfortable. He's ready to take yeah, a nap. Arms, He's not ready to take a nap yet, but we'll get him. No coffee, kind of, maybe yeah, no coffee. No coffee. All right, let's move on to the next coil. Yeah. So all your FDA protocols are here. You can totally customize any protocol that you want to see for see. On our demo system, we uh, customize a lot of different ones. So I'm just going to choose that, uh, choose his treatment location that we just mapped him on, and then uh, enter a plan name, which I usually just do by the uh, diagnosis. So I'm just going to put that in here. And that saves that, and that will op open up our run treatment workflow area. So now I can hit run treatment. I want to go ahead and just grab that neck rest and put it over like this. That's, I'm good That's right good. there, yeah. Right, so I'll lock that in. We also have a, a counter stay here. Oh, I, like so it. Just, right? I usually push in a little bit because it's a round joint. It's going to push back. Yeah. Uh, and then I will just tilt. They can be so in any position. So my head is secure. Okay. And the patient isn't moving around. And so I'm going to tilt you back a little bit. There you go. So they can be in any position you want. Uh, it's a very, up. it's there a very go. comfortable chair. When we have taller people like yourself, you can even extend this. Thing. Nice. Feel good? I do. All right. Uh, so placing the coil. This is a uh, part that uh, that I like to do. Uh, very simple. This is our treatment coil right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is get the right tilt and rotation that the doctor prescribed. And I can see this uh, This is my tilt and rotation right here. So once I get that in green like here, I can just put this on his head and then just move it right into place. And you see this green box. So now I know I have this coil exactly how the doctor prescribed it. Okay, so I'm going to try to lock this down. How's that feel? Feels great. So from here, I would go ahead and start treating him. Um, I can, for comfort, if I needed to, to uh, maneuver that, I can do that on the fly and save the treatment target on the fly. Um, the nice thing about this, and I don't want to wait three minutes on our video to do that, but um, at the end of every treatment, you're going to get a treatment score. Okay. So it'll tell us that um, this patient has been treated and 100% of the pulses were delivered exactly how the doctor prescribed it. If the patient moves at all, that green box will go away. Um, it'll alarm the, the tech. 
and it'll give you the treatment score at the end. It'll say, you know, 78, 90 pulses were delivered outside that box. Do you want to go ahead and re-deliver those pulses now? So it ensures that every patient's going to be 100% huh. dosed the way the doctor prescribes it. And that's all recorded on here. And so it will just deliver the ones that weren't delivered? Correct. It's going to give the whole dose? No, no. It'll, give, it'll say 90 pulses were delivered outside that box. Do you Here's want to 10. deliver those 90 pulses back? Yeah, and, and okay. So everybody will get 100% dosed um, every treatment. And the nice thing about that, we also give you some quality control. So uh, if you had, let's say, eight or nine patients that were responding very well and one patient that wasn't, you could go back into that patient's chart. You could see who the tech was, what their treatment scores were. Maybe they weren't placed in the coil exactly how the doctor was prescribing and they need more training. Uh, maybe it's not that at all and it's, it's something else, but we give you those kind of, of analytics um, so you can you know, better help your patient. What diagnoses are you guys cleared to treat for? Uh, we're FDA cleared for MDD, the 19 minute protocol, the three and a half minute theta burst protocol, um, adolescents, so we can treat 15 and above, not just 18 and above. Right. Uh, one of two companies for that uh, at the moment. Uh, OCD and anxious depression. Okay. Uh, and then you can customize, you know, whatever you want to do as well. So you guys do support people going outside of those? Uh, yes, we don't. We don't uh, promote it, but yes, we will support it. Obviously. Yeah. Our database is cloud-based, uh, and in other systems, when you have a cap system. Wherever that cap is, that's where you have to treat. If you had multiple locations, you could actually uh, map in one location and treat in any other location that you have. All that XYZ data is is networked. It all is stored? Yes. Okay. So if, if you had a psychiatrist that you were paying uh, to do your mappings, let's say, you wouldn't have to pay for their drive time to go to each individual clinic to map. Right. They could all, you could have the patient drive to the doctor get mapped and then they can the next day be treated Taking in any other location other yes um, so that's a big advantage uh, for, for multiple sites advantage. i like it so what do you buy next no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> nice closing question i like that yeah.